Hey everyone, Ben here with Fly Plugins, and on this YouTube channel, we share tutorials, tips, and strategies for creating and selling online courses. I'm super excited today because we have some new, powerful, and exciting features available in S3 Media Maestro 3.2. But before I show you the goods, I wanted to mention that I'm going to be talking a little bit more about video courses on this channel. Video courses are becoming more and more popular for a couple of reasons. First of all, videos are super convenient because all you have to do is watch a video. If you're familiar with learning styles, video can accommodate visual and verbal learning styles. Second, you can replay the videos and watch them anytime, which actually improves your chances of learning the material because we all know that repetition aids learning. Repetition aids learning. Repetition aids, just kidding, you get the point. But it really does, repetition does aid learning. Anyway, I won't go into too much detail, but I did wanna take the opportunity to ask you a question. Do you have any specific questions about video courses? If you do, would you do me a favor? Would you post them in the comments below? I would love to answer your questions and perhaps I would answer them on a future video. Okay, okay, you've been waiting patiently. Let's take a look at what's new and S3 Media Maestro 3.2. The first couple of features really excite me because we've been working really hard at our UI that interacts with Amazon's S3 cloud storage. And now it's a complete package. There is really no reason for you to have to log into the AWS console to manage your digital assets. You can now do that entirely from the shortcode builder. The first feature we added is the ability to add folders. So now you don't have to log into your AWS S3 account to add a folder in a bucket. You can now do that right from the shortcode builder. Next, we added the ability to delete digital assets. You might have uploaded a video or maybe an audio file by accident and you wanted to delete it. Well, in times past, you would have to log into your AWS console and navigate into S3, into your bucket, into your folder, find the digital asset and delete it. Now you can delete any file right from the shortcode builder. Basically, you have a full-blown S3 digital management tool at your fingertips. Honestly, this is gonna make you work much more efficient, and don't tell Amazon I said this, but their AWS console is really a pain to use. Okay, so what else is new with S3 Media Maestro 3.2? WP Courseware integration is finally here. Now you can run a full-blown video course with S3 Media Maestro and WP Courseware combined together. So how does this work? Basically, we've added a new tab to the shortcode builder that only activates if WP Courseware is installed. What it does is it allows you to add additional parameters to your shortcode that gives you full control over your student's video interaction. First, we added an option that requires a student to watch a video before they can move on within the course. This is a big deal because there are some courses that require the video to be watched in its entirety before they can actually move on to the next unit. Second, we added another option that would determine what happens when the video requirement was met. Basically, you have two options. You can display the next previous buttons or you can automatically redirect the student right to the next unit, just like a real video course. Finally, we added in an option so that you could set the video watch requirement. In other words, you can set the percentage of video that must be watched before the unit will be completed. You might be asking, well, what about audio files? Audio files are no different. You can set a requirement for audio files to be completed before the unit can be marked as completed. The navigation rules also apply to audio files as well as the percentage of listen time that is required for the audio file as well. S3 Media Maestro now gives you the tools that you need to run a full-on video course with WP Courseware. Again, if you have any questions about video courses, please place them in the comments below. I'd love to answer your questions about video courses. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so right now. That way you don't miss out on any of this awesome video content. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, Ben here with Fly Plugins. And on this YouTube channel, we share 
tips, strategy, tutorials, tips, and strategies. Tutorials, tips, and strategies. We're gonna do this one more time. Take three. Hey everyone, Ben here with Fly Plugins. And on this YouTube channel, we share tutorials, tips, and strategies on s s stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's gonna be one of those days.